everyone, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm actually filming in a different area. If you guys clicked on this video and you guys want to know my current roommate situation story and just like the mess that I've recently been getting out of, I document everything on here. What happened, like it's kind of a roommate horror story but not at the same time. I've been documenting my entire college experience which is why I decided to do this video. I wasn't going to do it because I don't want to bash anyone. So first disclaimer, this video is not being put up to bash her, not to bash my roommate or ASU or like anyone that works at ASU or anything like that because this is just my personal experience and it's like kind of shitty situation. I waited a few days to even like film it right now because I wanted to make sure that this video wasn't being put up out of anger, spite, um, any type of emotion that like I can't think clearly and like I'm just posting this to like put it out there And like I'm not thinking about it first. if you guys are going through the same thing Like I hope this helps you guys out for those of you that are curious about my college experience because I have been showing you guys Like every bit and piece that's been going on with it. Um, I hope this helps you guys out All right guys So the first thing I want to put out there is she did get a room transfer So like everything that I'm talking about that led up to this all leads up to a room transfer But there's like a lot of little details and things that happen after the room transfer that I do want to talk about so first things first I'm gonna give you guys background of how we met. I met my ex roommate. We're gonna call her X So I met X when we were actually at Orientation, so this is when before we actually got the rooms. I had already secured this room. I had room a she had room B um, But we didn't have this room together. She had I another room that was like a couple down we met I was like hey like I met you like you're really cool I you know she seemed normal like I met her mom they seemed normal they didn't seem like too crazy or anything like that like and I had met them so I was like this would be great like we get along enough like we don't have to be best friends like I went into this whole roommate situation and like into college in general saying I just want to get along with my roommate have communication we don't have to be best friends like that's not my expectation but we I want to be civil with them obviously and like I want to get along with them so like I went into it with like very low expectations so that then I didn't have situations like some people did here them expecting to be best friends but then ended up hating each other like I did not want that to happen so like I definitely went into this just wanting to like have a good re positive relationship we didn't have to be best friends you know I came into it with a really good mindset so I met her at orientation though we um, ended up going to Old Spaghetti Factory with a group of people and I was like guys this is my roommate like I'm so excited and we like ordered our stuff for our rooms like not to match or anything we have very different taste it, like it was fine we ordered the bathroom stuff together we um, discussed like who was gonna bring what and it wasn't like super planned but it was kind of pretty planned there are literally no red flags up to this point um she took a gap year i didn't so like she had been working for a while and taking college classes like at a community college from where she's from so she came here from you know across the country and i'm from here like i'm a native so it wasn't as hard for me like i just came back home and you know my house isn't that far so it's not that hard make a commute if i like miss home um we come it's pretty good the first month we were solid i feel like we hung out we went to rush together and rushes for a sorority just so you guys know like we had sorority rush together we um would hang out we'd eat together in the dining hall we would hang out and talk like i introduced her to my friends um she never really introduced me to hers which is fine like i didn't need her to but i introduced her to mine and I even set up with a guy, which it didn't work out, so it's no biggie. And it just seemed good. Like, we were getting along really well. One thing that I really wanted was being friendly. Like, I did not want to live in a toxic environment, which it ended up becoming toxic. But for the first month, like, it was totally fine. Like, the only two situations that we had, I feel like there was not proper communication because it was something that, like, I had done poorly that, like, bothered her, but she didn't communicate to me right away about, so I couldn't fix it the first time it happened. The other thing is like she would talk to her mom on the phone because she did live pretty far and like I'd randomly like pop in and say hi Like I thought we all got along really well It was nice and she would talk to her mom like every night for the most part So like I would random like maybe once a week say hi to her mom as well So I thought her mom liked me and her mom had met me originally Um and then she had her own friend group and I had my own it was pretty chill Like she never really brought them in here but like that wasn't like I don't know I just figured she was going to her friends or like she was still making them and we shared a printer so the printer and the vacuum were actually in her room because she didn't want anyone to like come into the common area I guess and like use it so in the beginning she always had like for the first month she always had her door unlocked or open like it was never closed in general so like if I needed to print something like 
that was our common thing like i would go in there and print like i had permission to do that um i paid for the ink that was that when college was new to me though i started making friends and we do live in the private side so if you guys are wondering downtown campus has two towers tower one is the shared so you share an entire room together tower two is more like private like if you don't want to see people you don't have to see them like if i want to walk straight into my room close the door and not see anyone like that's fine i don't have to talk to her i don't have to do that but i would always say hi to her but with that being said we both had our own rooms so the first situation was one of my friends we were studying in our in my room and i had like four people over we're, the rooms aren't that big they're like pretty small and the walls are pretty thin to be honest like right now the person next to me can probably hear me talking um to be honest but we were all studying and talking and like kind of being loud so i totally understand and she never told me until the day after that it had bothered her but it did but she did tell me because i apologized to her because she was being kind of weird about it and i was like i'm so sorry like like i could tell that she was being weird about the whole situation but like she didn't want to say anything and i was like i'm so sorry like i don't know if we were allowed last night and then that situation was done she was like yeah like can you not be loud and like i totally got that like i understood the big thing was the fact that i understood where she was coming from because she's a light sleeper and i'm not so i don't know how sound travels and also she hadn't had friends over so i didn't know like what the hearing was like if that makes sense like if you have people in your room because she didn't really have people over the next time which was three days later we had two situations and these were the only two situations we really had i had friends over again and they were being kind of loud and then she texted me at 1 a.m and said to me like can you be quieter it took me 20 minutes to see my phone because i was not looking at my phone i just wasn't thinking about it looked at my phone 20 minutes had gone by and i was like oh crap like we have to be quiet guys like i really don't want to upset her like you know it's 1 a.m like she's trying to sleep and she can hear us so we were being really quiet after that after that we we were good and those are the only two things that's when things started shifting now that i think about it it started getting kind of weird after that and that was within the first month but it wasn't as bad so after that she started like not talking to me as much it was just like little things but it wasn't as bad where she like wouldn't talk to me but it was definitely like kind of awkward she would be really quiet and just didn't really like that she would also put in complaints like around the people that were like around us because she could hear them and she didn't like that either which we're in college think about that like i i was dealing with it like i never put in any complaints but she did that really like bothered her then as time went on x was in a sorority so we went to do rush together she ended up picking that sorority i didn't pick that sorority just because it didn't feel right for me so she wasn't here that often and this is because like sorority life like you get really really busy and she was always in tempe so like it wasn't a big deal after the first month she started locking her door so i didn't have access to the vacuum or printer which we had originally decided i would have access to because like we had talked about this then the next thing is she was always gone because she was in tempe for sorority events like she had like initiation like um what else she just had a lot of socials and stuff like that like partying with them you know going to date parties whatever she had to do was in tempe not a lot of it was downtown um, then she also had like a ton of like bio stuff that she was studying with her friends, which is fine Like they were studying in their room I never once said that she like couldn't have them over But I just figured she just enjoyed going over there because she never brought anyone back She would just come here to like sleep um, Sometimes she'd be there studying on her own But the door would always be closed and she would never really talk to me at this point We had stopped hanging out. We stopped like eating together hanging out like just talking or you know if I still saw her in the mornings, I would say like, hey, how's your morning? We had different like class schedules too. So like I would shower first in the morning and then when I got back from my first class, she'd be showering. So like I would never like have a lot of time to catch up with her. But at the same time, like I would say hi to her, ask her how her day was. And then I started feeling really weird. I got this weird feeling um, for like the past three weeks or month, you know, like a little longer that it just started getting really weird. And when I tell, the, tell you this to you guys, like, it started feeling really toxic here. Like, it was just an odd feeling. Like, I'd have my friends over, and we'd be sitting in my room, and my door, keep in mind, was always open. Like, I'm very, I'm an open person. Like, I would talk to her, and I would really want to, like, you know, be friends with her. But, like, we didn't have to be best friends. We didn't have to even be close friends. But, like, I wanted to be friendly, like, acquaintance level, at least. I'd always have my door open. She'd walk in. I'd be like, hey. And then she'd kind of, like, either ignore me and not answer, or she would, like, be like, hi and then like go into her room or something and then at one and then after she started ignoring me like it was just one of those things where it was like kind of made me feel like crap because i didn't like i don't like being ignored if i'm like trying to like be friends with someone you know or be nice to them and like i'm making an effort and then my friends were in the room and she'd walk in 
and in the beginning of the year would always say hi to me and then at this point she stopped saying hi to me and sometimes if she saw that i had friends in my room she would say like hi to them but not to me she'd be like oh hey katie because that's one of my friends you guys have seen her in a video or two she wouldn't say hi to me at this point it was definite that she did not like me i thought for a while like before this like now that i look back at this this was a huge red flag because she was not able to communicate to me like the two situations about the talking like she communicated but like whatever i had done to upset her at this point she had never communicated to me because she was just being really weird about it and for a long time i thought maybe there was something going on at home that was you know bothering her or something and that she missed home because she is from pretty far away and i don't know i just gave her the benefit of the doubt and then i didn't want to push the limit because i didn't know what was going on at home i was always nice to her i was always asking her and then she just kind of like treated me that way it went on like this for like a solid like month and then like three weeks of like hardcore like i would literally make the effort and she would not make any effort so it just kind of but it didn't it time goes by pretty quickly here so like it didn't seem to me at least like now that i'm looking back like i was like living like this for a, you know a decent amount of time like the entire time i've been in college like has been kind of like leading up to this situation so on monday i woke up late and my class is at 9 a.m. I woke up at 10.30, 8, I think, was the time that I woke up. I looked at my alarm clock that is literally sitting next to me on the bed. My alarm clock was there. I turned it on, and I set it specifically for 7 a.m. And I woke up in the morning at 10.38. Clearly, it's a very loud alarm clock that is old and perfect for hitting snooze. But snooze, what is not on? It was flipped to this where it's at right now that says alarm off so it was like all the way over like that and i had it at alarm on which is like one thing over i'm not saying that it was her whatsoever but it was just like ironic that that day my alarm clock like i didn't wake up and i woke up late i went and took a shower she wasn't there and then i got out of the shower i got out of the shower went into my room my door was kind of open and like in the crack because i was like changing and everything I, and normally the door is totally open but like i heard the door that's like directly like leading into the hall open so like i closed it like a little bit just so if there was other people coming in like i wouldn't be naked <laughs> a couple minutes later i found out it was her mom and then i saw a car and i was like wow her mom's in town like maybe she's bringing something like that was my first thought like at this point it had never hit me that she was going to transfer rooms or that she was going to be moving out at all like i don't know it just didn't didn't hit me like i i've been the one that's been cleaning i've been the one that's been taking out the trash i've been doing like my fair share here in the dorm like i've been doing my job i have my friends over she doesn't really hang out in here so like it was just one of those things that like it didn't occur to me that this would possibly be something that would happen at this point i put leggings on and a sports bra and she knocks on my door that's like partly open already and she's like just wanted to let you know i'm getting a room transfer and she kind of like didn't really look at me she like looked down and then went back to her room. And another thing I want to point out is when she knocked on my door to tell me this, she didn't think I was going to be here. She thought I'd be gone, that I'd be in class. And I don't think she was ever even planning on telling me that she was getting a room transfer. So that kind of sucked too because I realized that she like was surprised that I was there. But I think the only reason she even told me she was moving out was because she thought that I was going to be gone. And I mean, this is just me assuming because I'm just saying like she knows my class schedule. She knows when I'm not here and they came to move to start moving everything out around that time so at this point um i was kind of shocked and stunned but like obviously i hadn't reacted i like didn't expect this to happen so my only reaction was do you need do you need me to like move anything make it easier like her mom was there i had no idea why she was moving i was really nice i was like hey how are you like and she's like oh hi sydney like that's what her mom said to me i just didn't feel like, appreciated or like i don't know how to explain it like the feeling in the room was not love towards me if that makes sense it was definitely much more animosity when that happened i kind of like eventually left the room i was like shocked at this point and i went and talked to my best friend who lives here in the dorms later that day i got back to my dorm and i sat there and i thought to myself this was monday night i was like wow no one wants to live with me like what did i do wrong because she didn't give me any explanation and she was basically throwing this at me wow like no one wants to live with me like i was just thinking all these horrible thoughts about myself because i was like what did i do like i didn't my like i was starting to overthink and then i realized like i can't overthink because clearly like I started looking at the facts, the way that she was treating me, the not really like talking to me, the ignoring me, like there was something that she never communicated to me. And this is where I think like 
I want to work on is making sure like if I'm being ignored I like bring that up next time whoever I live with next like I'm I'm not gonna stand for that because I'm not gonna have someone like just throw this at me again and make me like think that I'm doing everything wrong and I have no idea what she was telling her mom and that's kind of what bothers me too because like clearly her mom didn't like me so after that during the moving process I texted her and I was really nice I'm gonna read it to you guys really quick um, I texted her and I said, can you please leave the door open when you are done moving out? I get freaked out when the door is closed because of my imagination. Thanks with like a heart emoji. Um, and like I thought that was pretty nice. Like I don't think I was saying anything that was mean or asking too much because once she moves out, it's not her property anymore. It's darker in the dorms and like if that door is open, I get more light into like this living room area which only has artificial lighting. And um, so I asked her that. She didn't reply to me. And then I talked to my CA the night that she was moving out and... I told my CA like, hey, can we have a meeting? Can we have mediation? And she was like, yeah, like let me talk to her. And then she told me that she said maybe and then she canceled last night um, on Thursday at like five because she didn't want to talk to me, which is, yeah, it's that is what it is. She didn't want to communicate with me and clearly she didn't want to communicate with me at all while she was living here. So that kind of, that blew like, because I think that if you have respect for someone, you at least tell them why you're moving out and you don't let people assume things, which leads me into the next thing. On Wednesday night, this is before we're supposed to have our little meeting to like talk and like talk about what's going on. And this is why I decided to make the video until after all of this so that then I could like let my feelings go down and the way that she like handled the rest of this. On Wednesday, she posted an Instagram and a Facebook and I follow her on Instagram and I follow her on Snapchat and I follow her on Facebook and like we were friends on these things and she posts on Instagram. I have a photo of it because I then removed her from all of these things because I don't personally don't want to be seeing this especially when you she knew that I followed her. So she posted on her Instagram, thanks to the best mom in the world for flying to AZ this weekend and for working her butt off to move me. I can't tell how much I appreciated everything you did this weekend and everything you do in general. Can't wait to see you again along with the rest of the family in three short weeks. So she could have just left out the whole moving part because people from school obviously follow her. That was also on Facebook. I read the Facebook comments because I was I was on Facebook and I just saw it and I wasn't like snooping on her profile. It just came up in my feed. Same with this one. I then added her on those and then I normally don't check Snapchat stories but it was at the top of my Snapchat story and I didn't search her or anything like that and it literally was at the top and it was a video which I do not have proof of because um I can't screenshot videos and I removed her literally right after that because I didn't want to see that but this leads me into something else. She posted a video of her in her room with the caption in like it was like a darker room so like she had white and then like most of the room was like dark and then like you could see like her friends were in there and she had said what did she say again? Um finally can have friends over. Yeah so she said finally can have friends over with her snapchat video that's on her story that most people from the dorm have her added on. And this leads me to what everyone else started thinking. So I was not going around posting all over saying like yeah my roommate moved out guys like this is so awesome because like I wanted to respect the fact that she moved out and I still had no idea why. When she made that post, that insinuates that I said that she couldn't have friends over. Everyone knew that we were roommates for the most part. And then people started coming up to me or to my other friends asking why I would not let X have friends over. First things first, I want to just clarify a few things. Number one, people started assuming because of that, which I had never said she couldn't have friends over, I wouldn't do that, like I had friends over. And she started saying that, like insinuating that. I don't know what she was telling people because I didn't want to ask. It just really bothered me that she'd posted on her Snapchat because like you don't post that unless you're trying to be petty or like trying to like get people to know that you moved out of your room or like whatever you're trying to do. And she doesn't really post a Snapchat that often, which is what bothers me more because she like took the time out of her day to like say that. Never reached out to me, never texted me back, but yet she can post on her social media. You know, it, I don't know, it just really bothered me. And so the whole thing that goes along with this is the fact that people started thinking that I was the one that was calling in the complaints on our dorm floor, but the entire time it was her. Like I'm pretty sure she's one of the, like I know some other people that have complained, but like she complained like a multiple times because like the people that live next to us like the people that live on my side I can hear them having intercourse like all the time but I don't complain about that because like it's college like we live in a dorm for a reason um we need to deal with this and like you know I'm just saying she's a pretty light sleeper I'm not so it doesn't bother me as much we're in college the next thing 
is the fact that people started assuming that I told her like she couldn't have friends over and I definitely never said that and she didn't clear the air on that one she definitely like fueled the fire a little bit making people think that I was like not letting her have friends over and blah 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 so like that kind of sucks the other thing is people started coming up to me and my friends asking that and like I know people like to know about like drama and like things like that but it's just like sucked because like she had added to it like if she would have just moved and not talked about it like it would have been fine but then she had to make these posts on Facebook Instagram and on snapchat that made it seem like she moved out because I'm a horrible person when she wouldn't even tell me communicate with me or anything like that what I was doing wrong I don't know if anyone else has these problems but if you are living with someone and you guys are supposed to be nice like I made sure that I was never mean to her that I was you know being nice like being like listening to her when she wanted me to listen to her but she didn't really talk to me that often and I thought we had a good relationship and then she threw me this curveball so that's kind of like I've just been feeling down on myself because of this whole situation. I feel like this whole situation could have been resolved by communication. I do respect the fact that she had the guts to go and get a room transfer, but I wish she would have talked to me about it because we probably could have solved whatever like her problem was with me or with like living in this room. Maybe it was not even me. Like I have no idea, but it's just the fact that like the way that everything was kind of like playing out, it just, it didn't play out very well. And I feel like communication is key. So if you guys are living with someone or if you guys are going to be going into college and you're watching this before you guys go into college or you guys just are watching this my big token message to this is communicate and if you guys feel wrong about something push to just like communicate because even if they don't want to talk to you like i had tried to communicate with her i always asked her like how her day was going like i tried to be nice and then it still ended up this way so i definitely learned that i need if something seems off like just ask and don't like push it and i wish i would have done that because maybe we could have solved it but like she didn't want to communicate with me now that's the whole thing that's the whole situation i wanted to talk to you guys about it because personally for me like this is documenting my whole thing and i don't want you guys to like think i'm going out there and like getting a whole new roommate plus when you guys see my vlogs um obviously like no longer she will be in them and i also do not have a printer currently at the exact moment and i do not have um i didn't she took like the mini fridge the microwave and the vacuum the printer the bathroom supplies the cleaning supplies she took the scale <laughs> yeah she took the scale <laughs> oh she took like this a lot of the stuff that was like in the common area so you guys aren't gonna see that in the videos anymore but that being said thank you guys so much for watching to this point i love you guys so much and i i seriously appreciate you guys watching and like supporting me and just like listening to me talk about my life and everything and i love you guys so much and i definitely did not expect to have this situation with living with her and everything like that because x seemed like a really good person when i first met her but you know you learn a lot about people when you like live with them so i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys in my next video don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, subscribe if you guys are new here, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Also, leave a comment down below if you guys have any roommate stories or um, if you guys have any questions that go along with college that I can answer in a Q&A or anything like that. But I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.